The Olympics can make for an exciting time, bringing together people from all over the globe. Identities and communities of all kinds are center stage. But ahead of the Tokyo Games, the International Swimming Federation, also known as FINA, stood in the way of one tool to support representation. On July 2nd, the Associated Press reported that FINA had banned Black-owned sole cap swimming caps from use at competitions, a cap designed to protect natural, longer, and thicker Black hair from chemicals in swimming pools. Soul Cap said it was told by the Federation that the ban was because the cap does not follow the natural form of the head. The UK-based company responded to the ban by saying they had hoped to further their work for diversity in swimming, so swimmers at any level don't have to choose between the sport they love and their hair. Alice Deering, who will be the first black female swimmer to represent Britain at the Olympics and who first partnered with Soul Cap in June 2020, said to Sky Sports about the ban, I don't want little black girls and little black boys to look at elite swimming and think it's not open to them. And two-time Olympic medalist Leah Neal told the New York Times, this is so much bigger than banning a type of cap. Neal is 100% correct. This ban, without a doubt, further exemplifies the lack of acceptance in a white-dominated sport, while also potentially pushing away many potential young black swimmers. The winner of multiple Olympic medals, Simone Manuel, has been talking about the struggles black swimmers face for years. She opened up to People Magazine last year about how she'd been laughed at when she told people she was a swimmer and how others assumed she must play basketball or run track instead. It's very obvious that it's rooted in thinking that black people can't swim, shouldn't swim, or can't be successful in the sport of swimming. I've gotten laughed at when I've told people I swim. As of July 2nd, FINA had said they would review the ban. Weeks later, Soul Cap reported that the organization had apologized, pledging to review its application process and offering its full support throughout the next submission window in September. With a final ruling on the matter yet to be made, it's clear the people are raising their voices as the fight for inclusion and equity continues.